Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Monday. I hope you've had a gorgeous weekend and that your Monday's off to a good start. Um, I have just had a full morning. It's quarter to 12. I've had a full morning at home um, working and doing all of the worst jobs I could possibly think of so that I could free my brain up for the day. Um, and now I'm all ready and dressed up to go to celebrate um, a lunch with Victoria, gorgeous Northern Victoria, and Lumine. Lou, no, I don't know. I think that's how you say it, I'll, I'll report back. It's an incredible beauty brand, Nordic beauty brand anyway. So we're all going for lunch um, and Vic's hosting it. So that's gonna be so nice. I've got a car and everything. Um, I also just really wanted to say thank you so much for your support generally, but specifically Sunscreen, the new newsletter by Marnie Ways that I've done, because We've had loads and loads of traffic from YouTube and loads of subscribers from you lot. So I honestly couldn't appreciate more. And we can see at the back end where the traffic comes from. So I'm like, oh, guys, like, thank you. Like, you didn't have to subscribe and you did. And I really hope that you're enjoying it. And I hope that, um, yeah, you would feedback if you want to see something different or you want more of a certain thing or whatever. Like, we're making it for you. So, yeah, we just have worked really hard to make it really varied. So there's something for everyone. And of course, bits and bobs of exciting news about Marnie Rays will be delivered to your inbox via sunscreen as well. So yeah, um, I really, really appreciate it. It doesn't go unnoticed, and especially when I'm someone that is very busy and seems to be popping up a lot all at once, and I don't want it to feel demanding on you, like, follow this, follow that, do this, help me. Like, <laughs> but So I really appreciate it as well. Um, just wanted to say thank you. I'll show you what I'm wearing. Don't know why I'm out of breath. Got the heating on. Oh my god! I had a hot water bottle this weekend. Had a, had got up. At, I went to the pub on Saturday night and I got in at about half twelve. Got in bed fast asleep, and at two a.m. I had to get up and boil the kettle to put a hot water bottle on because I was freezing. Um, and it was just a really bad sleep because I don't know why it's so cold. It was like three or four degrees, and we've been used to like it's just been twenty degrees every day. Don't know what's hit me. I've got my winter coat out and everything, um, but I'll show you what I'm wearing. Okay, so this is the bare bones of the outfit, which is um, an old Celine shirt, which I got at Bista Village years and years ago, which is just silk and so cool, and I really like the collar. Um, and I've just got vintage jeans on, my Wrangler black ones. And then on my feet, I've got my Kate boots. So they're knee high ones, but you can't see that they're knee high um, under my jeans, obviously. But I just like that they're like, pointy and chic. And then I'm just gonna grab my acne jacket and a jumper, so I'll show you that quick and then I'll go. Okay, right. This acne jacket I got also in Bista Village actually on a separate occasion. I've not been for ages, I feel like we should go and venture there soon um, because Celine and acne, oh my God, like it's the dream. Um, so this jacket I've had for pff, years, years and years and years, years. Um, but I'm obsessed with it. And I think it should have been like a couple grand and I got it for about 700 quid. And I love that it's got a red lining. Oh, so good and it's so heavy so anyway that's my coat and then this knit that I showed you last week from a day's march this really like lovely um it's kind of boucle it's a bit fluffy which is the only annoying thing about it but it is very chic so I'm just pop this oh on my shoulders and we're ready to go that's it we're ready um can you see my boots in more detail I really love them but the truth of it is is that from dancing all my life got quite like painful bunions and all my friends laugh at me because they're like how you fit how are your bunions I'm like not good we have to stop a lot um so if anyone's ever had this bunion surgery done please speak to me because I'm petrified and I'd need both my feet doing <laughs> and I can't sit still for that long I just don't think I can do it so yeah if anyone's got any insight into this please do share it because it's getting more painful as I get older and I just keep panicking that I'm going to end up <sighs> like really really struggling with it because it's not great now and i had to take my shoes off in paris and that's not chic is it so yeah right i'm going i'm going to take you along to the lunch guys guys i'm coming to you from the bath because i can't decide whether to watch something or read something i've started reading a self-help book and then also I maybe wanted to read something that wasn't self-help, but then also my first sight's on. So this is where we are, and uh, I'll report back. <laughs> okay. 
okay, it's a winner. Sometimes I just want to switch my brain off. And so this is what we're doing for the next hour until I'm a prune. Hi guys, I'm just in me and M and I'm trying on some beautiful wool coats. I found this amazing camel one and I sized up to a size 12, even though I'm normally like an eight or 10, just so it's nice and long and you can roll the sleeves up too. And it's so gorgeous. It looks darker in this light than it is, but it's like a proper camel color. But I'll put a link on for you because I'm going to get this one. No, it's not. <laughs> Hello everybody, it's Wednesday today, um, I didn't really vlog yesterday, I had a few meetings in town, I feel like I've just lived my life in town this last few days, I can't believe it's Thursday tomorrow, I feel like it's gone Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Thursday, <laughs> um, yesterday was a really bad day. I had just the worst time of being a woman and having my cycle. I haven't had like a cycle that bad ever in my life, I don't think. I was grey yesterday, like the pain, the moods. I had, had been woken up in the middle of the night the previous night with a migraine, um, which I've not had for a few months. And it was all just going on and I was like despairing. <laughs> I just couldn't make any of it calm down. So I just muddled through. Um, and had a really big sleep last night and feel infinitely better today. Just gets you sometimes that way, doesn't it, I guess? Um, but yeah, I was fit for nothing. Um, I went to me and M and tried on some beautiful coats and things that I took you along to, but that was as far as I could get to get home um, after that. And I just, all my work from home. And then I've been out and about this morning. I went, what did I do first thing? <sighs> I don't know what I did first thing. I can't remember what I did first thing, but second thing was met Lizzie at the Diptyque store, the new one in Marlebone, and it's kind of like a pop-up for gifting in Christmas, and they let us um, take some gifts and some bits to give to our friends and family for Christmas and for our own homes, so my house as it stands smells incredible because I've got a couple bags full of bits for people, but the fragrance coming off it is amazing, it's, my, it's just so good Diptyque, isn't it, like... It's just so beautiful. And um, so feel very, very spoiled indeed. So just did that. And then I'm now about to have a very quick turnaround, get ready, go back out in the rain, but for something really fun. I've been invited to go and watch Cabaret this evening and Self Esteem is starring in it. So I'm really excited. I'm going with Levi's. So we're going for tea first and then we're going off to Cabaret to the Kit Kat Club. Um, so I'm really excited. I've never been to anything like that before, really. I avoid musicals because I can't stand them. Uh, but I'm really looking forward to this show because everybody says how incredible it is. It's just not normally something I would like choose to book and go and spend my time doing. But I know that it's very divisive that you either love or hate a musical. And I don't even know what this falls under cabaret, like is it a musical or whatever. Um, and yeah, can't believe it's Thursday tomorrow. But um, I'm going home up north tomorrow. I was going to go on Friday, but I think I might go tomorrow evening and just get an extra day there, which is just going to feel so nice. And I can just whiz around and see my little um, nephew, George, my little, my best friend's little girl, Betty. And just, yeah, just like see everyone. It's been my dad's, my mum's and my dad's birthday. So uh, we've got like a family meal booked and stuff. I just cannot wait to go and see everybody. Um, oh, I've had my hair cut this morning. Um, just, it's all fluffy and not good because whenever anyone else washes it and styles it, it just never is the same is it but i just had a little inch cut off because it was getting like shoulder length so I, and i want to keep it short all the time so um yeah i'm just gonna get ready i also went vintage jeans shopping today because i need a new pair that are like long enough so i honestly i showed you the pile that i probably tried on about 70 pairs it was yeah it was a lot and i put it all back because i felt so bad for the shop assistants i was like I, don't worry they were like we can do this i was like no trust me i need to help <laughs> um so i'm gonna get ready i'm probably just gonna wear vintage levi's little belt like a shirt and my kate knee boots that i showed you the other day and um, look at my t-shirt that i bought it's stussy our legacy but look he's got surfer on it the back's good too 
Sorry, you're gonna have to excuse all the crap in the background, but look. How good is that? It says Stussy Our Legacy and it's got a big surfer on the back. Buzzing. Um, what else? That's it, I just gotta get ready and get myself out of here is what I've gotta do. But I hope you're up. <laughs> I was gonna say, how are you? But it said something else. I said, I hope you are all okay and you're all doing well, even though the weather's like a bit miz. Um, but yeah, I uh, hope you're all having a nice day and stuff. And well, I'll take you along later if I can. I don't know if I can take you into the cabaret. I'm not sure. If not, I'll speak to you later when I get back. Uh, and that's it. I'm going to go and get ready before I'm late because I feel like I'm chasing my tail all the live long day. Good morning, everybody. It is um, Thursday today. I've been up and out for a meeting this morning. And <clears throat> now I'm home. I've got loads of filming to do. Um, lots of work to do. Shouldn't lie down, should I? Loads of work to do, um, which is all good. And then I just need to pack for my weekend up north. Um, did I tell you? Um, so I'm going home tomorrow, Friday, until like Monday. And um, I'm going to see all my family and friends, all the babies, but me and the girls are going away to Harrogate for a night. I think I said this to you and I cannot wait. They've both got babies now. So we're, we've got child free time. So we're making the most of it. We're getting into Harrogate for like 11 a.m. We've got brunch booked, a boozy one. Then we've got spa, then we've got dinner and then the next morning breakfast before we go home. So I just can't wait to spend like concentrated time with them. It's gonna be so nice. Um, oh my God, the cabaret last night. I was grinning the entire time. It was like an hour and 45 minutes for the first act. And then the second act was only 40 minutes. And it was so amazing. Um, it was really dark in places. And yeah, it was just a very thoughtful piece, but just so much fun as well. But I'm not a theatre girl. Like, I know that you either are or you aren't. And I really just am not. Like, even though I danced and like, worked in that kind of space like it's the jazz hands and the singing conversations that I just cannot live with I cannot deal with it but um it this was just something different altogether it was so amazing everyone was so talented um Rebecca who's uh self-esteem self-esteem I don't know if you say it twice or once anyway um she was she played the lead and she was unbelievable so I done it like I got taken um by Levi's as a as a gift. I don't know how expensive tickets are. I think somebody said they're quite expensive, but if you know if you, there's any way you can go, I I'd go again. Like I would go again. It was that good. And now I feel like I need to do more cultural things like this. But just don't suggest something like wicked to me because I will be in the ground. Like I cannot. The cringe just takes me. I can't do it. Um but yeah, so I've had a really nice, like, this week's been amazing. It, I can't just believe how fast it is. Can't believe it's Thursday. I am knackered. Like, I, I don't know, just, you can slide my, the bags under my eyes. I'm sleeping really well. I think I've just, this month, my hormones, everything, I just feel under the weather. And I'm doing what I can in terms of, like, supplements and all these bits and bobs. But I think it's the change in weather and how fast everything is in life at the moment is just, like, yeah. I've, yeah I feel like I'm yeah it's just a lot going on but it's not like nothing sad nothing unhappy it's just hectic and I just don't think I cope very well with it um so very very excited to just get home and um relax this weekend and be with my family and stuff so yeah I'm just gonna crack on and do some filming now I'm gonna do some fluid form filming um which is the Pilates program I've done for like three years nearly more than three years it'll be now and it's an at-home um program and it's just the best so good it's by key and she's australian and they just yeah it's just great and um then what else i have to shoot something else and then like i say i'll pack and that's about it for me today i'm just gonna make some eggs and have a cup of tea because i did that thing this morning where i got up went to make a brew and the milk was off and i was like I don't know if I can leave the house without a brew, but I did. Obviously, I survived. But I'm going to, yeah, brew up and then just chill out, I think. Um, get my head on for this filming. But, yeah. I hope you're all really well and you're okay and that you're having a nice week. Is everyone else feeling very hectic at the moment and very, like, 
waspy. <laughs> I feel like a wasp. <laughs> That's what I feel like, a wasp. Um, I think tonight I'm, is going to be bath night. I'm going to watch Married at First Sight because it's going to kick off at the dinner party. And I'm going to watch it in the bath um, like I did the other night when I, I try to read, but I just sometimes you, when your brain's too full, it's not, not the one, is it? Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I don't think so. No. No. <laughs> I, um, I'll come back and chat to you a bit later. Uh, tomorrow will just be basically a travel day. And then I'll wind down this vlog. But yeah, there's not been a lot going on this week. Sorry, it's been a bit all over. I know you tell me not to apologise either. But yeah, I am sorry because it's been probably a bit boring this week. Because I've not done much except be very tired. <laughs> and I, I just have realised that I've only been to the gym once. And I normally go three or four times because that's what I need to like feel good in myself. And I've been so exhausted, it's not even been on my brain. So I think this week I just need to give myself a break and start again next week. Fresh head. And with lots of discipline, because I've lacked so much discipline this week. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm going. I'll, if I think of anything else, I'll come back. Good morning, guys. Um, from very rainy Stockport in my childhood bedroom on Saturday. Um, I hope you're all really well. I hate to apologise because I haven't vlogged this last couple of days because of a migraine that has not let up so yeah I've just been feeling a bit sorry for myself because I've just had this migraine go on and on and on it's like the back end of it now um thankfully I think I, I can just keep taking my painkillers and hope for the best but today's the day I go to Harrogate with my best mates from home Laura and Adina and we have got girls day girls night out so i'm just getting ready for that um it's just sod's law isn't it when you've got this plan you've had it in for months and months and then your body's like nope which is a surefire way to slow me down um which i really need to look after myself next week and it's mad next week's mad so i just need to do some cancelling i think <laughs> otherwise this migraine's not going to go anywhere fast um i hope you're all really well i'm sorry again this is just a bit of a hodgepodge in terms of a uh, vlog because i've not been able to like fully be here on the screen <laughs> for the last couple of days i am going to say goodbye now um just in case i don't get harrogate stuff in the vlog on time for tomorrow it's going to be late anyway because i haven't been able to stand being on the computer uh, but it will still go up on Sunday. It's just going to be later in the day, I think. But yes, um, thank you so much for being here. And I'll say goodbye now. Have a lovely week. And thank you again. I think I said thank you about 17 times, but I do mean it. <laughs> and um, I'll speak to you either later or I'll see you next week.